Hey, I just want to remind you guys, In Your Corner, a movie I directed on Floyd Mayweather and Sam Watson, is out now on vimo.com. In Your Corner, click the link in the description box. Uh, and I would genuinely love and appreciate you guys' support. And uh, don't, don't hesitate to leave a comment and let me know what you thought of the film. And uh, again, I appreciate you guys' support and enjoy the video. Peace. So I just, I didn't, uh, I, did, I forgot Lonzo Ball was playing yesterday. I cut the TV on and, and the Lakers and the Clippers are playing against each other. And um, he had one of the worst games ever. The worst games I've, I mean, only thing you can do worse is not put the ball in a hole. One for 11 from three. One, two, he had five points I think he had. So let's, um, I want to put this in perspective. It's a summer league game. I expect him to play better, obviously. But it's a summer league game. But what I found what was so interesting, when a player plays his worst game, I played college basketball, so I, uh, I, I would consider myself, no, I'm not an expert because I, I, I haven't played professional basketball, but um, his plus minus with those statistics was only minus seven. And I saw it on Ticket's video. Uh, he had 30, played 32 minutes, as he said, the most of any player, five rebounds, five assists, something like that with three turnovers. But I find it interesting that his plus minus was only minus seven because typically when you have a game like that, your team is really getting blown out if you played 32 minutes. So there is hope at the end of the tunnel. There is light at the end of the tunnel. So um, I'm curious to see the body of work he puts together. And what I did like about him was he continued to shoot the ball with the game on the line. He obviously missed him, but that's the approach you must have. And like his father said, like Avara said, the only way to go is up from here. So he's not going to play worse. I guarantee you that he won't play worse. But uh, I'm interested to see his body of work. And I would agree with LeVar Ball as well. He's ex he's ignited a post in the Laker fans, Lakers coach, as, as he called it, which is a fact. You know, um, I'm excited to see what he does. Magic Johnson sitting uh, courtside. No, not court, that's not courtside. On the floor. Um with Luke Walton speaks volumes about the expectations and the excitement in the Lakers. You understand what I'm saying? So uh, congratulations on being the second pick in the NBA draft. First of I mean, we have to congratulate him. Congratulate LeVar Ball on getting his kid there. Uh, but now it's time to show us. The, uh, the narrative is set. Dad's done his job. Mom's done his job. College done their job. High school's done their job. Now, Lonzo Ball, it's time for you to play now. And we want to see it. So, um, I have confidence that he will be a five-tool point guard. And what I mean by that, uh, he'll have balance. He'll have a balance. Um, scoring totals, you know, five assists, six rebounds. You know, he, his turnovers will be high higher than anticipated because he's a rookie and he's slight of strength. So for all my athletes out there who went from high school to college, no matter what sport you play, you re you remember the first month of practice when you realize you needed to get stronger, you needed to get quicker. 100% of us know about that. I would say 99% because there, there are the LeBron James in the world that uh, was just born to be great. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, I don't know when his next game is. I, I need to set my alarm on my phone so I know because I completely whiffed on this one. I just saw this, the stats. And uh, he had a chance. He missed the layup. He had a chance to tie the game or, or win the game or something like that. Had a chance to tie the game with the three. So uh, I'm wishing him well. I'm definitely wishing him well. And uh, But definitely the worst, one of the worst games that I've seen. The, the, the game that stands out to me is the worst game because it's so dear to my heart is John Starks against the Houston Rockets. We had a chance to give a Knicks NBA championship and we only had two years to do it because Jordan was in retirement and we couldn't do it. We, I wanted to give PE AKA Patrick Ewing his ring and uh, it didn't happen. So uh, nothing, <laughs> I don't think no, nothing can be worse than John Starks going two for three for something, three for 17 in that game. It was, it was just erratic. So anyways, man, barbershop conversations, feel free to hit the subscribe button and, uh, 
I'm interested to hear your comments. And and ticket, let's have a conversation about Lavar Ball, maybe a quarterly conversation, and talk about his uh, how is he progressing? Because ticket plays professional ball. He obviously has more experience in this than I have in terms of on the court stuff. You understand what I'm saying? So I I, I would love to like have a dialogue about him as he progresses through his rookie season, and we can just have that conversation. So anyways, man, enjoy your Saturday. Not much boxing going on today, but uh, we got a lot of uh, NBA basketball today. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.